Man, can we start just talking about that guitar? That's the one, right? Yeah, this guitar is the one that I played the majority of my sessions on and my solo records. Um, the choice to get the A335 was actually a very practical choice for me. You know, I play a lot of different styles of music. And for me, I wanted to get a guitar that could cover a lot of bags, so I didn't always have to switch to a bebop guitar for this, a blues guitar for that. And this one covers most of the bags that I want to play or was called on to play. So that's how I, I ended up picking the 335. And uh, the little store I went to in 1969 to buy a 335, it had three 335s hanging on the wall. And I chose this one out of it because it sounded the best to me. And wow. the rest is really history, isn't <laughs> it? It is history. Yeah. So literally that was brand new when you bought it? Brand new. Wow, one yeah. owner guitar. Yeah, 1969. So in the beginning, it was just kind of a pragmatic thing about not wanting to schlep a ton of gear to sessions. Yeah, yeah. although I ended up carrying everything, <laughs> but this one seemed to cover most, so I didn't have to keep pulling a new guitar out. Yeah. 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 Over the years, have you done many modifications to it? Not really. Um, obviously, the stop tail piece, because it came with the trapeze. Same original pickups. Um, a number of fret jobs over the years because yeah. I've played it so much. And uh, we put in a graphite uh, nut a long time ago. Mike McGuire said, you got to try this, man. There's no stick and it won't ever wear out. And it doesn't stick and it doesn't wear out. Huh. Other than that, you know, replace the tuning pegs when it needs it. But um, wow, nothing else. Great. And on your, uh, your Gibson has released a signature model. Yeah, I copied this guitar. Um, and it's it's really cool. They, they came out really good. Really? So is it just identical? They've they've. Uh, um, I mean, more, are they? Do they relic it to look like it, or is it just basically copying the? Uh, the they, build? they well, they copied everything and even the color. They call this a Carlton burst, <laughs> and so that's the label on it. You know. Wow! How what? It, well, what an honor in a. Uh, yeah, for sure. For yeah, sure. very fitting tribute. Mm -hmm. Now you've got a um, another three thirty five that you've. I do. The, your backup. Can we, let's look at that guy. Oh, and this is Rick Wheeler. Nice to see you. Friend and technician. <laughs> <laughs> this 335, this is a 1968. I got a letter from a fan. And basically, it took six months for the letter to get to me. You know, it went through the offices and people filed it away. Anyway, this guy said, you're my favorite guitar player. And this guitar that I have is a 68 335 that's been not played in, was it 17 years? Yeah, 17 years. Wow. And he said, I would like to give it to you as a backup guitar if you like it. And if you don't like it, please don't keep it. Well, he sent it and it's just, just great. So this was a gift. From a fan. How great. Mm -hmm. Does it feel a lot like uh, like your number one? Yeah, it does. It really does. And the tone was very, very similar. Huh. And so what I what I did though is I wanted to experiment, so I put PAF pickups, old matched PAF pickups in this one so it wouldn't try to sound exactly right. So yeah, it gives me a whole different world when I play this one tone wise. Wow, how cool. What a nice gift, huh? Yeah, incredible. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah incredible. I mean, but you've got I mean, you have so many loyal.